Okay, so we learned how to factor trinomials that have a leading coefficient of 1, <clears throat> but we um, all also can have trinomials that have a leading coefficient other than 1, and we want to make sure we know how to factor it. So I'm going to start the same way we did with trinomials with a leading coefficient of 1. So remember that this term right here came from two terms in the middle that were combined because they were like terms, but 7m squared and 4 are going to be our first term and the last term. So again, our goal is to figure out what two terms got combined together to give us 16m. Just like before, our product diagonally has to be the same. So if we take our coefficients, here we have 7 and here we have 4, when we multiply them together we get 28. So very similar to, before, um, to the problem with, um, with leading coefficient of 1, we are looking for two numbers that multiply to 28, but when you add them together, they combine together and give us 16. So two numbers that multiply to 28 and add up to 16 are going to be 14 and 2. So I have 2m and 14m. And don't forget the m because um, what you're really just doing is basically breaking up 16m. So it's very important for you not to forget the m because it's not going to work out. So now it looks exactly like a four term um, factoring problem that we have seen. So we need to factor out the greatest common factor for a row or column. I'm going to start with this column here. I have 2m and 4, so the greatest common factor is 2. And now I can just work backwards. This has to be m. If this is a 4, this needs to be a 2. And then if this is 14m, then this needs to be 7m. And we're going to double check m times 7m is 7m squared. So that's it. I got my answer. So in factored form, the area of this rectangle is going to be m plus 2 times 7m plus 2. That's it. Okay, so we're going to start the problem the same way. We're going to fill out our um, upper left and lower left. And we need to figure out um, what two numbers multiply to negative 6. And when you add them together, the two terms combine and give me negative 1. So 3 and 2 will work. We just have to think about the signs. If they add up to negative 1, 3 is the one that has to be negative. So that means the two terms that got combined were negative 3n and positive 2n. And now I need to factor. I notice that in this column, both numbers um, are negative, which means that my GCF is going to be negative. 3n and 2 don't really have anything in common, so I'm going to factor out a 1. And now I'm going to work backwards. This has to be 3n, this has to be 2, and this has to be n. And that's it. I'm done. So this is positive. So in factored form, my answer is 3n plus 2 times n minus 1. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to start with 5x squared and negative 3. So diagonally, my two coefficients multiply to negative 15. So my other diagonal also has to multiply to negative 15. And when I combined the two like terms, I got positive 2. So 5 and 3 are going to work for us. And since they add up to a positive 2, the 3 is the one that has to be negative. So the two terms that got combined together were 5x and negative 3x. And I'm going to take out the GCF. I noticed that this row is negative, which means that my GCF is negative, And 3x and 3 have negative 3 in common. And now I'm going to work backwards. This has to be x and this has to be 1. This has to be 5x. I could take a couple seconds, double check that everything multiplies out. So my answer is inside the box, and it looks great, and that's my answer. 5x minus 3 times x plus 1. So here is another problem for us. We have 3k squared minus 12. Diagonally, these two numbers multiply to negative 36. And when you add the two like terms, I got we got 5, so 
36, uh, 4 and 9 are going to work for us. In order for these two add up to positive 5, the 4 needs to be negative. So my two terms that got combined were negative 4k and 9k. I noticed that my column right here is negative, which means I have to factor out a negative 4. And then I'm going to work backwards. This has to be k, this has to be 3, and this has to be 3k. That's it. That's my answer in factored form. It's going to be k plus 3 times 3k minus 4.